I've been in Toastmasters a very long time. I, I think 15 years almost. And over the course of those 15 years, oftentimes I've done what I would call a technology speech. I remember when I did a speech on MySpace back when MySpace was, was kind of new. And I also did a speech on Bitcoin. So today I'm going to talk about non-fungible tokens. I'm assuming that most of you in the room have heard of cryptocurrency, but in case you haven't, I thought I would bring up the definition. It is a digital currency where transactions are verified and records maintained by a decentralized system. That's the focus of it. Decentralized system using cryptography rather than a centralized authority. Bitcoin was developed back in 2009, and I did a speech on it somewhere between 2017 and 2020. What I remember about it is the value of Bitcoin was around $3,000 then. But you can see now, as of last night, and actually the little um, counter kept changing, it, Bitcoin, one Bitcoin was worth about $43,000, $43,889. But now I've read about non-fungible tokens or NFTs. And essentially what they are, are digital collectibles. So they're, they're traditionally art or something related to art that you can own and collect with the hopes that either it'll bring you joy and you can put it on display or that you can then sell it later for more money. So I'm sure you want me to tell you more. <laughs> NFTs are a type of a digital asset. The ownership of those assets are recorded on a blockchain and blockchain is, is a ledger. So, and it's similar to the networks that um, underpin Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Each NFT is unique and acts as a collector's item that can't be duplicated, making them rare by design. It doesn't mean they can't be imitated or copied, but only there's only a single ownership for that collector's item. Many investors buy NFTs to make money on them. They want to buy them at a price and then flip them and sell them for a higher price. And people are finding other use cases for NFTs, such as virtual real estate. I'm thinking of Cameron in the room there today. Um, you may need to just go into the metaverse if yeah. Rochester isn't giving you all the home sales that you need and gaming as well. Do you buy NFTs with Bitcoin? Not usually. Many NFTs are priced in ether, which is a digital token of the Ethereum blockchain. So, Ether is digital global money. It's the currency of Ethereum apps. And so you don't actually buy NFTs with cash. You buy them with a different type of cryptocurrency. So why did I even bring up Bitcoin? Um, I wanted to ground you on cryptocurrency and its relationship to NFTs. And because I did a speech on it, for those of you who've been around a while would remember. And as I said, Ether is used to buy NFTs. So why is there so much hype around it? What's happening in this world right now is some of these collectibles are selling for millions of dollars. Um, an earlier slide had a video clip created by a digital artist named Beeple. And that was bought originally for $67,000 it was flipped recently for 6.6 .6 million. There's um, something called a CryptoPunk where thousands of the CryptoPunks, which were computer gen generated avatars, recently sold for 2 million. And NBA Top Shot, where they're selling clips from the games, this has created over $280 million in sales for basketball. And 
it's fascinating to me because truthfully, it is really nutty. I'm wondering who has millions to spend on a piece of digital art or a, a digital clip. How did I get started on this? I did some research because when I first read about NFTs, which wasn't very long ago, I remember kind of panicking inside for a little bit because I thought, I don't understand what this is. And I don't want to be one of those old people who don't understand technology. I need to research this and figure it out. I did some research. I, I realized that it has to do with primarily selling artwork. I come from a family who's very, very talented, lots of different types of artists in my family. So I thought, this is it. This is something my family can start doing. And in order to get them all jazzed about it, I did a bit of a book report. It was only seven or eight pages, just a lot of information about what NFTs are. But I failed miserably. My sister Janelle wrote back and said, you definitely lost me at needing a Ledger Nano X MetaMask hardware wallet for cryptocurrency once we purchased our Ether on the Ethereum blockchain. I don't know what she didn't understand about that, but she's not interested in getting into the NFT market with me. I'm curious, those of you in the room, how many of you have, just raise your hand even in Zoom, how many of you have heard of NFTs? So many of you have, thank you. And now how many of you are going to, or maybe already have started investigating NFTs? Are you going to NFT? Yeah, a few curious people out there. Good for you. <laughs> Remember, it's a changing world out there and we have to keep up with the technology. If you have any questions, ask the internet. It's there for you. <laughs> have a great day. <laughs>